Happening today, volunteers will be working on a project to create a living shoreline to protect the coast along the southern part of St. Pete. It's a three day operation taking place at Maximo Park at the base of the Skyway Bridge. And on your side, Chloe Sparks is live there with more on what this process looks like. Good morning, Chloe. Good morning. Volunteers are doing the work on land. Oysters are expected to take over once these bags are put into the water. Volunteers will continue to do their part today. Bag after bag, three days filled with stuffing shells into these mesh sacks. A living shoreline is in the making at Maximo Park. I don't mind getting a little dirty, a little sweaty. I'll come back in a few weeks and get to, to see the benefits of our work. Julian Unger is one of dozens of volunteers helping with this shoreline preservation project led by the City of St. Pete and Tampa Bay Watch. Yesterday, they started placing bags of shells into the water along with massive concrete balls to create a nearly 8,000 square foot living shoreline. So basically these are creating a whole network of substrate or spaces that oysters can attach to, breed on, and live in order to help stabilize and clean the water. A layer of native plants behind the structure will help keep the soil in place, preventing erosion. One of the biggest catalysts for this project was the fact that there's a really significant cultural site just upland of the shoreline. And what we were seeing is that was that was eroding pretty heavily and it was starting to erode away all of our, our cultural artifacts. So one of the important goals of this project is to help protect those artifacts. Tampa Bay Watch leads these living shoreline projects all over the state. They rely on volunteers like Unger to help get the job done. As a sailor, I enjoy our waterways very much, and I know I'm not the only one that does, so I think it just benefits everybody to come out here and do whatever it is that we can to um, build back up and conserve what remains. If you'd like to contribute, you can find out more by downloading our free WFLA app. By tomorrow, all of the shells in this pile are expected to be bagged and placed into the water. Then it's up to the oysters. Reporting live in St. Pete, Chloe Sparks, 8 on your side.